Afternoon, guys. Just pulling up to a call here. We got a six door freezer down. It's behind me over here, up on the wall. It's uh, the condensing unit for it. It's running hot, so it's like 40 degrees in there, so something's down on it. Take a look at it, see what's going on. Hope everyone's having a good Friday. Friday afternoon, boys. It's almost the weekend time. If you can see behind me, up there. That's where the units are, up there. So we'll go take a look at them, see what's going on. I already put my ladder up. I already know what's going on, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking at right as I pulled up here. Here's our freezer here, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six doors. Sides down, things running warm. See the temperature, up at 38 degrees. Units running outside. I see one of the condenser fan motors spinning real slow. I know this thing's having head pressure issues. It's got high head right now. So we're gonna go outside and take a look at that. Most likely end up changing out a fan motor. What's up guys, we're here. That's our little freezer unit on the left there. We gotta get up there. I'm gonna put my extension ladder up there because I don't have like a 12 foot step ladder. Pain in the ass. But you can't really see it from here, but that left side condenser fan motor is barely spinning. So most likely a high head pressure situation get that uh, new fan changed out and the head pressure will probably go back to normal. We'll go up and throw our gauges on just to confirm, but I know it's high pressure because of that fan. Guys, blowing out red hot. Barely see. I don't even know if it works right with the camera that you can see it, but the left one is fun. The liquid line over here is red hot. I don't even need to put my gauges on it. This thing ain't running right because there's too much head pressure from the fan done. So, I'm gonna get this motor changed out. Nah, uh, go from there. Come up here, guys. See the motor? Yeah. Red right hot. Things cooked. So, but it's kind of a pain to get in here. You got my truck there, but I'm up here on the ladder. It's the only way to really get to this thing. This is a horrible, horrible area and setup. But we still got a couple split air handlers above us for the AC, but. At least this one I'll be able to lean right over and get into this. This whole condenser here is red hot. So, get the motor out, get the new one in, and I'll get back at ya. You can see inside the motor, guys. Those windings in here, cooked, all burnt up. So, I'm gonna change it out with one of these Fasco 921s. Things are very good for these smaller motors. Like in evaporators, heat craft evaporators, whatever, heat craft condensing units and the smaller ones that do voltage for 115, 120, and 230. And you got the rotation here too. You can do whatever rotation you want as well. So they can definitely save you in a bind like right now on a Friday afternoon. So get everything hooked up. Just wanted to show you the diagram that comes with these guys. You can see you got 115 or 230. We are 230, so we're going to be wiring it to this diagram right here. Very simple to follow. And then you got your plug on here to change the direction of your motor rotation. Whatever you want. Comes with a capacitor already installed as well. Very, very handy to help you in a bind. Especially right now or on a weekend. You know, anything. Because we can't have this freezer down or these people are going to lose a lot of product. Motor all in and running, guys. All up and going nice. I need to get everything buttoned up, back together, and um, let this thing pull the temp. And hopefully that'll be it for this Friday. Then we can go home. I want to get off this ladder, the way I'm sitting here. Not uncomfortable. These are very difficult units to work on, the way they're mounted here. But it is what it is. Okay, freezer's been running a while now, guys. A little bit, maybe 45 minutes or so. We're looking good. Getting back down there, we're about eight degrees now. So it's still gonna take a while. Some of this ice cream got soft and a couple things, so it's putting a load on it now. So it'll take a little bit, but looking good. It's the other side. Here we are. I hope everyone has a good weekend and enjoy it. For all you hockey fans, we got some good games this weekend. Go Bruins, baby. Catch all you guys next week. Later.